Yes, how you doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I am the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Uh, today we're going to be doing a demonstration on the Silver Diamond. These are the uh, projection screens, actually the new projection screens we have coming out next year. And also too, showing off some of the Crystal Edge Technology roll-on screen. Now the large screen you're seeing right there is the Crystal Edge Technology screen. And then the screen you're seeing right there at the bottom, that is our Silver Diamond Crystal Edge Vision projection screens. Now something I want to clear really quick I've been getting quite a few emails from people saying hey look um, how many quarts is the formula going to be um, designed like the silver diamond and can I paint this onto my screen I just want to add really quick this is not a screen paint this chemical has to be fused into a surface in order for it to work so this will not be sold in a screen paint form now let me explain to you some of the projection screens that will be available right now we are working with a company that is custom designing our screens that will match the chemicals performance. Uh, two of the screens we have that are coming out will be a 100 inch and one will be a 92 inch, a 16 by 9, a fixed aluminum frame projection screen, which means when you get the kit, it's going to come in a nice long box. It's going to have a, a nice packed, well, long box to the screen. It's going to be on a roll. You pull out the frame. Frame does come included. You attach it all together. Very easy kit. And you roll the screen on. You tighten it up. You hang it on your wall. And you're done. So this is going to be an 800 inch. 16 by 9 and a 92 inch 16 by 9. We had two motorized projection screens. <laughs> this is what I mean by had. Sorry about that. A bit of a cold. Um, we have 116 by 9 motorized projection screen. This is not tension. Just want to add. And we had 120 inch, which had a black housing motorized projection screen, but they are now officially sold out for six months. There is no more of those for six months. So I'm sorry. Uh, they went pretty quick. Um, we do have two forms of blackout cloth coming out for the silver diamond. We have one that's actually very flexible. It is an eight-way stretchable material. It is 158 inches, uh, 239.1. And then we have another one which is about 54 inches high and it's around 12 to 15 feet long. Now this material is a, very, a little bit more stiffer, a little bit more flexible. You can actually stand this up, stand this material up. It'll stand up straight with no problem, but it's very flexible. This will allow you to be designed your own customized curved screens. It's called the Silver Diamond Flex. Uh, after that, we will be designing an outdoor projection screen, which will be the Silver Diamonds Out Backyard Cinema. Uh, this screen will have a uh, fixed frame, uh, sorry, not fixed frame. It will have a, a, a frame that you can reassemble and disassemble. You can put that frame into a small duffel bag that will come with the kit. It will come with a screen size that's 8 feet high, 10 feet across, and it will come with a set of waterproof neon lights, uh, something you want to add to your backyard display to light it up. So that's what's coming with the Silver Diamond. That's the product line for that screen. Now, as for the Crystal H technology screens, those screens, you can actually apply those to anything you want. You can paint that on the wood, glass, plexiglass, um, whatever you decide, cardboard, I don't know what you're going to build your screen out of wood, you know, drywall, anything you want. And those screens are very easy to do. Um, in the bottom of the comment section, uh, that actual screen right there at the top, I'll put some videos down there where I actually sprayed the screen with a, a water hose. Um, I have uh, spray painted all over the screen, repainted over it. The screen requires no priming, uh, no sanding. Also, too, on top of that, only one coat is needed. The screen dries in 10 to 20 minutes. Very easy to use. All right, so we're going to be doing the video today on our NEC VT595 projector at 2000 lumens, 720p, 600 by 800 res, like I said, SVGA. Uh, very cheap projector. I paid $160 for my projector, so it wasn't a lot of money. Um, so, uh, shows you don't have to have an expensive projector. So we're doing it at 720p. All right, the measuring tape. Our screen is sitting back around 12 feet from the screen. 2000 projector, as you can see my walls are white. You know, a lot of people don't realize that when you have white walls or light walls, they can produce a lot of light. So your projector has to be able to cut through all that light and hit the screen right there in order for it to be able to um, to um, project an image back. So gain is very important. A screen that has a, a bright screen is very important. That should, well actually let me explain to you before I get tongue tied here. A bright screen is very important. A lot of people say, hey look, um, really, do you really have to have a screen in a well lit environment? You do, you need a screen with very good gain. Without a very good gain on a screen, your projector's lumens, if it's 2000, or that's where I put a a mark on my screen. Actually, that, that comes automatically. I like the memory surface, but I still don't press against the screen like the little divot, but it kind of, it'll come out on in due time. That's what I like about the old blackout cloth we're using. All right, so your projector's 2000 lumen. It has to cut through all this light, 
hit the screen, and then basically produce a bright picture. And this is why gain is very important. White walls reflect 10 times more light. And then at, here we have 10 times more light in the environment than you're gonna use in your everyday home. But it's just to show you exactly how powerful the smart technology gain is. Now, let me show you the sample sheets we have against our screen. We have the AB 1.3. Yep, there you go. You just witnessed a technical difficulty right there. Okay, so my my uh, bar light came off my screen right there. I need that right there for the demonstration. Hopefully it stays. If it falls off, we just leave it be. All right, so um, we have the Seymour AV 1.3. We have the Cinema Gray 5D by Elite screens. Over here, if I can get it to pull up fast enough, here we go. We have our Supernova, sorry, that's upside down. That's the Infinity and Blade screen, not the core. By Dapper Screens, this is a company I saw on a website when I was looking for the top 10 screens. Dapper came up, they're very high in screens. Over here by Film Screens, we have the Firehawk G4. So these are some very high tech screens, as in how much light we have in the environment. 500 watt bar light taped to the side of the screen. We have our two floor lamps right here. And on top, we have our two spotlights now on the screen at the same time. All right, so that shows you how much light we have in the room. Uh, just to let you know, those of you who are not familiar with Dapper, here's their screens right here. And like I said, very high end screen right there. Very high end picture. We wanted to get the best when it came to testing out our screen. Now, already as you can see, the Silver Diamond, uh, let me get the focus of work right here. Right? The Silver Diamond compared to our Crystal H technology screens. Like I said, the Silver Diamond is using the Smart Technology Gain Times 3, and the Crystal H is using the original uh, Smart Technology Gain. And you can see exactly the advancement that our screen has, as the Silver Diamond has over the Crystal H, but the Crystal H is still an amazing screen. All right, so let's start this right now. Hopefully, our internet's not going to be choppy. And we'll have a good one here. Oh, we actually are going to have a good one. Thank you. Usually I don't. My internet gets really choppy, really jacked up from time to time. Now, the thing about these screens, these screens have something which you call oversaturation of contrast. But the screens produce so much contrast when it comes to uh, pure colors, like really light, vivid, beautiful colors. This is where the screen starts to fail. Now, I've had people tell me that, look, it's not fair when I was doing demonstrations against Supernova or Elite screens. They said you're using a short throw, and those screens are not designed for short throws. We're using this on the NEC VT595 projector. This is a long throw projector. We're about, 13, about 12 feet back from the screen. So there should be no excuse for whining and crying. Sorry for those of you who own these particular screens. see for yourself let's see there you go let's see for yourself the advancement of the silver diamond versus these high-end screens of mine that's a supernova right there in the center that's a three to four thousand dollar projection screen standing right in front of the screen as you can see there's zero percent hot spotting on our screen no reflection no glare now you see the gain on our screens are absolutely amazing and this is why the 120 sold out so fast they're gone I mean they're gone and look at that Okay guys, well, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal H Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. I hope you enjoyed this video demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for watching.